Okay, so for my warm up, I will read anything really. I'll do la 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 la, the scales, I'll do tongue twisters. Sometimes I just like to read a book. So today I'm going to read this one, Mary Kondo. It's the first book. If your house is clutter, clutter, jam up, you need to start getting on board with Mary Kondo, trust me. Anyway, I'm going to read you page 52 out of the book. My advice to begin tidying, not room by room, but by category. Gathering everything together at once does not mean that you should start with any category you like. The degree of difficulty involved in selecting what to keep and what to discard differs greatly depending on the category. People who get kind of stuck halfway usually do so because they start with those things that are hardest to make decisions about. Things that bring back memories, such as photos, are not the place for beginners to start. Not only is the sheer volume of items in this category usually greater than that of any other, it is far harder to make a decision about whether or not to keep them. In addition to the physical value of things, there are three additional factors that add value to our belongings. Function, information and emotional attachment. Yeah, that's it for my practice. I'll just read that or a couple of pages of something. It really just gets me going and stuff, so I'm ready to hit the script when it's going.